Lo, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 15a. In every organism, there are, in its governance as a whole, mysterious transportations of substances and forces, sometimes indefinite, circulatory paths, and sometimes specially, for special needs. In the organic view, teleportation is a distributive force that is acting to maintain the balances of the whole, with the seeming wastefulness sometimes, and niggardliness sometimes, of other forces, providing, or sometimes providing, new islands with vegetation, and new ponds with fishes, Edens with Adams, and Adams with Eves, always dwindling when other mechanisms become established, but surviving sporadically. Our expression is that once upon a time, shares of little frogs were manifestations of organic intelligence in the choice of creatures that could survive in the greatest variety of circumstances, if indefinitely translated from place to place. They'd survive in water, or on land, in warmth, or in coldness. But if organic intelligence is like other intelligence, there is no understanding it, except as largely stupid. And, if it keeps on sending little frogs to places where they are not wanted, we human phenomena cheer up, thinking of the follies of existence itself. I have never done foolisher, myself, than did nature win it, or she, probably she, fatally loaded the tusks of mammoths, and planted a tree on the head of the Irish elk, losing species for the sake of displays. By intelligence I mean nothing that can be thought of as exclusively residing in, or operating in, brain substance. I mean equilibrium, or adaptation, which pervades all phenomena. The scientific intelligence in human brains, and the physiologic intelligence that pervades the bodies of living things, wisely foolishly acts to solve problems, and somewhere in the beauty of a theron, or of a peacock, lurks the grotesque. When nature satisfies us critics with such a graceful stroke as a swimming seal, she fumbles her seal on land, 